Hello, welcome to Manston, Manston Griffiths Location Series in Matlab Tutorials. Today we're looking at Computer Vision Toolbox and Cloud Stitching. And we're using the Microsoft Connect 1 as our sensor. And just say that, just line 5, this is from the Matworks demo file. And I've just amended it a bit, but the intellectual property is Matlab. So we're going to use the iterative close point, our closest point, to stitch the two of them together. And as I mentioned in another class, really you're just trying to stitch two point clouds together and select trying to find um, uh, block matching in uh, video processing. I mean MPEG-2 or MPEG-4 for that matter, although MPEG-4 uses other things, but it's kind of like MPEG-2. So we're just going to run it section by section. And all the 88 images that come from here are preloaded in the MATLAB toolbox. And you just load it there, uh, the dot .mat file. So it'll come in as a point cloud object. Perhaps I should just do a little hoodies here just to see what's in it. Okay, so we've delivered in data and let's display the images. Just takes a second or two. Now they look a little odd there, but if we expand it and then if I use my magnifier tool here. As I move around, you can see, go a bit slow, you can see that the connect is our sensor as we went around the room. You can see the teddy bear, you know, coming into frame by frame. It's moving, so you're panning from left to right, so it's extremely like a um, video processing so let's just get out of that uh, back to 100% and let's save it so we've displayed the images we're going to get uh, the reference frame and the current frame and we're going to try and stitch them together uh, using ICP iterative closest point uh, so as we're not here all day, we've got to downsample. We're going to, in this section here, we're going to use the ICP algorithm to work out the 3D rigid transformation. So we're going to get the transform here from PCU regroup from the moving and the fixed, uh, the reference and the current. And T form here will be an affine 3D. So it's a three dimensional affine. And an affine just reminds you it's rotations, translations, dilations, and shears. Scaling and shear, dilation and shear. So there we are. We're going to generate our line 98. So run the section. And now we're going to run the merge point cloud. And we're going sorry. So run the section. And there we are. There's the two of them stitched together. You can spin this if you want. So we have the first and second image, and you can spin this to whatever way you you think is the best way of looking at it. I think we might leave it like that. Something like that. So you can see that the bright wall there, the dark door, etc.
So we've done that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a sequence. So we're just going to, you know what's going to happen here. So we've updated it. That's the seam. And you know what's going to happen in this one. We're just going to go through them one at a time. So you're going to go. We've done the first with the second stitches. Second with the third. Well, second with the third stitches. Third with the fourth stitches. Fourth with the fifth, etc., etc., etc. Until you get to the end. And how do you know the end? Well, it's a, you know, it's an unconditional loop. We're going around a fixed number of times. And the number of times you're going to go around is uh, to the length of living room that. So, if I get my mouse here, don't think I, I, yeah, I did that. I stitched the sequence of clouds and now I'm just going to do this here. See, this is quite intensive. So it's doing it frame by frame there. So you're just doing a frame by frame and you're stitching on and you frame, you're stitching on and you frame, you're stitching on and you frame. Now it'll jump just here at the end because MATLAB in their wisdom uh, put in a rotation matrix. You see there's a bit of a jump there. So at the end of the for loop they went down a fixed number of times and they just stitched on a new image every single time. And then a legend, no, take a minute. So what they did here was they were going to spin the whole thing because they, they said it was pointing downwards. So they reckon the angle was minus pi over 10. So they made up a homogeneous uh, rotation angle like so. And then they said transform the point cloud seam, that's the whole set of images glued together using this affine 3D here. And then they said show the point cloud and display in the message. Now, I, as I say, just to repeat that, the intellectual property is MATLAB, but I just thought I ran that, it'd be interesting. And you can use your own uh, Microsoft Connect to do some fairly reasonable uh, point cloud stuff. Hope that was of some help. Thanks very much for listening.